Hi everyone, welcome to Excel Highway, your one-stop shop for all your Excel needs. Today I want to show you the very simple and effective way to automatically change color of your cells based on a set table like here. Now, why is that helpful? Let's say you're building a scheduling, let's say, a table of people and you want to also add the colors because it's easier to see that way. Now, normally you'd use conditional formatting. and conditional formatting, you'd have to go, let's say, over here and press conditional formatting, new rule, and say, if cell value is equal to um, gym, then color it, and you'd have to define a certain color. Okay, and if I write here gym, sorry, you see you even have to write it down you have to go ahead and delete those okay and what if I have another person that I have to do it again and what if I want to change the color so I have to go into the um, the rule itself manage rules edit and let's say here there's four people so if you have 20 people you have to set up those rules for 20 different lines and every time you want to change a color you have to go into it Whereas here, what I've set up, you have a table with names. You have RGB, which is re, re, red, green, and blue. Yeah, the colors, the definition of all the colors in the world. Um, you can key in number between 0 to 255, and that's going to give you some sort of color. And whenever you write that person's name, whenever there's a match, it's going to color the same. So if I write here Bob, it's going to be yellow. If I write here Jim, it's going to be orange. Now I want to add a person. I want to add Tracy. And Tracy, sorry. And let's say it's 125, 50, I don't know what color that's going to show up. And now I'm going to write her name over here and I get her color. And I don't like that color and I don't see it over here yet. So I've also added a button here. I want to change that one. Once you click that button, it's going to automatically change all the colors and also in the source. But I don't see anything here, so let's do it like this, for example. So it's more greenish, maybe add some red. So this is a very friendly way. You see, you can you can just reach whatever you know color you want to see. And of course, once you set that up, um, then whenever you write now trace whenever you write down Tracy, it's going to show you that color. So that's very nice. That's very friendly. That's very easy to use. Um, so how is it done? It's done with a very simple VBA code, a uh, VBA code that works on the table and a VBA code for the button. So let's take a look at the VBA code for the sheet itself. You right click on the sheet, go to View Code, um, and you can see it's a very simple code. This is just a duplication. So the private sub work sheet change means that this code operates whenever there's a change in the range, um, which is targeted um, as the range. Okay, so this is very this is like a default setup for VB code. I have some um, the parameters set up here, like a name I J R G B and dup. Uh, which I don't use up here, so it doesn't even matter. But uh, name is important, I and those, AJ and those three uh, RGB. So first off, what I'm what I'm saying is I equals active cell row minus one and J active um, and cell uh, dot column. Why minus one? Because my, the idea is that you key in, for example, Jim, and you click on enter. So now the active cell is a row below. This is actually why I have, you know, both uh, lines here. So now I'm saying if the if the the range is not between A3 <coughs> and J G, sorry, 10, then just you know get out. Uh, I'm not interested to run the code. If it is within that range, I'm saying look, name is equal cells I J. Okay, the combination, and if that name is not blank, then I'm just going to use the VLOOKUP for the three parameters. Okay, I'm going to look for the name over here, RGB. Okay, assign the, the, the parameters with the value that's over there. And then 
with this simple code that cells dot interior dot color equals RGB RGB okay else meaning that there is a blank uh, cell then I'm just gonna color it with 20, 255 all three which is white why why am I adding this because whenever I delete someone I wanted to go back to white if I didn't have that code then it would stay purple until I click the update colors of course um, so it's a very simple code that's what it does and here I have the same thing I'm just increasing I plus one this is if, this is just to cover both cases where you because if, if you delete you stay the active sheet remains the same if you click on Jim and enter then you are here so I wanted to cover both cases probably a better way to do that but just that's what I did so that's that's the code for the dynamic changes that are made here for the update colors it's relatively simple again I can go to the model and I call it color cells again I have some parameters um, I'm not updating the screen just so it works faster although this is code this code is pretty simple so no no issues here and what I'm doing here is very similar only difference is I'm gonna run a loop to go over all of the um, cells over here and all of the cells over here and do exactly the same assign the RGB uh, um, you know parameters so this is exactly the same if there's no name then color it white if there is a name pull the information and I'm just doing a double loop J you or parameter for column go from one through last column which is seven in this case okay so it's seven days and the same for rows I have last row is set up as 10 of course you can build this dynamically or you can have a uh, last row as a, as a search and you can have it very dynamically it's up to you this is just a basic uh, code anyway so this runs through the entire table and this runs through the smaller table which is just the name of the person okay uh, so it's exactly the same here I'm using the last row as I said dynamically so I don't want to go through the entire column I want to go through the last row over here so I'm using this code which pulls that last row last column now it's nine okay and uh, well actually just nines because I just want to go through this column so it's column number nine and I'm I'm using um, um, you know this is gonna this loop will run once but this loop will run from line number three all the way to the last row in this case seven and it's exactly the same code so if you understood the first one you should understand the second one um, that's it if, if you're uh, if you're here and you're you enjoyed the video I would appreciate if you could subscribe like share leave a comment and if you want to get this uh, this uh, template for me just leave a comment and I will be happy to share with you. Thank you, everyone. See you next time.